Folks, it's good to be here today. I appreciate God. Thank God for my family and friends and everyone's come out. We've got, boy, we've got a, a crew here tonight. And, and they sang and practiced and while ago sounded good. And I know they, we missed the service, Brother Jimmy, and we appreciate him and Brother Micah Ferguson and Ann and, and Martha and Marie and, and the rest of them. How's that? <laughs> but we uh, thank God for Pastor Dale and them, them coming out to help us. And Brother Mike's going to be singing, and I think Ted and Ann's teamed up. And I told him I was going to help them because Ann makes anybody sound good. <laughs> and uh, so we have uh, we appreciate God today, folks. Amen. Our little church, and uh, and we're in revival, our little church. Amen. And uh, yesterday, my, my mother-in-law led somebody to the Lord. Yeah, they rededicated yeah. on her front porch. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Woo! And my wife had gave a class on teaching young kids how to lead people to Christ, Romans 10, 9, and 10. If thou shalt believe with thine heart and confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, thou shalt be saved. So, so they prayed and led them to the Lord, and then they want me to come by and pray. So I just prayed and, and just prayed God moved mighty on his life, and he's uh, sitting there uh, blowing a little bit. I said, won't you just holler a little bit? That's what I do. <laughs> so he's leaving, whoo, you know, a little bit. He'll have to work on it. And, uh, but we, uh, God is, is doing mighty things Amen. in Kiwi and in Lily and a prophecy, a tongue interpretation the other day. And some say, well, I don't believe in that, but I do. Amen. Amen. I do. Yes. And he says he's saying revival in our community and that many would be saved. Amen. Another time, a tongue interpretation and my wife gave the tongue interpretation. And it said that he's, uh, that the harvest was plenteous. That it's time for harvest. And he's sending forth laborers. Folks, that's the word of God. Yes, Lord. That he, he's asking for people to go out into all the world and preach the gospel. Yes. We're to be a, a living witness wherever we're at, folks. Wherever you find us, if we're ashamed of Jesus, he said, I'll be ashamed of you. But also if we'll confess him before man, he said, I'll confess you before the yes, Father yes. and before the angels. And, and if we want to get Jesus Thank excited, then, well, then don't on. be ashamed of him. Amen. But confess him. And, and I'm serving a God that's bigger than the devil today. Yes. It's that name of Jesus, every knee shall bow things in heaven and things in the earth and things beneath the earth. And that, that don't leave room for anything else, does it? Amen. But it says he spoiled all principalities and powers and made a show of them openly, triumphing over it in his death, his burial, his resurrection. You know, today we can go and, and there's an empty tomb. Say, here's where he laid. <laughs> He's not there anymore. The grave couldn't hold him. He said, I have the keys to death and of hell. Hallelujah. We're going to open up a glory land and if we could, we've come a long way today. We've been up in Indiana and come back and Lord Satan to give us a safe trip. Man. And we called and we had some backup in case we had to have them. And, and they're still here and they might get to help us anyway. But folks, it's good to have friends. And, and folks, we, we can't do it by ourselves. You know, God never sent, you know, even the disciples sent them out by, by pairs, by two. And said he called 70 other and sent them out. And we find in the book of Acts that we see here we've got Peter and James. Peter and John going to the, to the temple to pray. They teamed up. Then we find that Philip goes down and preaches, and here comes uh, Peter and John again. They come down and lay hands on them. They might receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other yes. tongues. Amen. But you know, even before that, they had great joy in the city of Samaria. Yes. And yes. folks, anywhere that, that you can uh, share good news, that your sin can be forgiven, Amen. your yes. sin debt paid, then there's great joy. And folks, I remember when I got saved, we had my nephew got saved, I believe, uh, Monday night. On a, I believe Monday night, wasn't it? And then he uh, got baptized Sunday night, so, you know, and, and, and I said, boy, I'm, I've been saved all day. And he said, I've been saved all week. <laughs> Never been saved before. And God saved him 20, 23 year old, 22, 23. And so, so proud. And there'd been a change. Brother Mike, set free of drugs and alcohol. There'd been a change. And folks, Jesus is sending revival. And also we've got a revival scheduled. That May the 19th with Brother Mike Ferguson. He'd yeah. be singing a little bit, and Sister Ann's his sister, and Martha, and a bunch of them will probably come out and help. Martha and Marie and different ones, and, and I, I get them kind of mixed up some. <laughs> Ann, and I think it's Ann. Yeah, okay. She said yes. And uh, but we sure appreciate them. I, I thank God for my friends. Amen. Yes. And you know, we took and met Mike, uh, I guess, just a couple years ago. 
And he has been truly a blessing to us in our little church and our church family. God bless you, Brother Mai. Woo! Let's give the Lord a hand for him. We're going to open the glory land, then we're going to ask Brother Mike to come and say what's on his heart and sing. And we've got Ted, our youth minister, going to help Ann sing in a little bit. And we appreciate him. His family made it home all the way from Oklahoma City. Amen. His mom and dad come in the other night and had church with us, and we just had a time. And I, and I welcomed them home, Brother Mike. Amen. They've made it home all the way to Lily, Kiwi and Lily. And God's doing great things. Folks, can you imagine the call of God, the draw of God? One scripture said, I put a hook in your jaw. Come on. And I'm going to draw you. Boy, that's getting serious, ain't it? Yeah, real amen. And but God is drawing people to keep you. Thank you, Lord. And you know, we had some from Pineville down that way, and they come the other day, and we had a like a church dinner and things, and they come and helped us, and we sung, and they sung, and we just had it's just heaven on earth. I was telling Brother Lonnie, it's right next door to heaven, Kiwi is. <laughs> Pleasant Spring, right next door. This might be our final drop-off place before we step into heaven. Amen. Yes.